2025 is not just a normal year for Amtrak, but a year marking a quiet revolution that is reshaping the entire rail transportation in the U.S. While many still think of trains as just a traditional means of transport, Amtrak has quietly made great strides from renewing its fleet, upgrading its infrastructure to improving the passenger experience. But what are these changes really like? What projects and events have created a strong push for the U.S. rail industry? Let's review the important milestones and breakthrough developments that Amtrak has made throughout 2025 with On the Trains, an EC and Gateway program. Entering 2025, Amtrak officially enters the transition and preparation phase for a series of key upgrade projects on the Northeast Corridor, NEC, the most important railway line in the United States. This is the time when Amtrak focuses on inspecting, evaluating, and strengthening infrastructure, replacing degraded components, and promoting measures to improve operational safety. According to the fiscal year 2025 budget plan, Amtrak spends a total of $5.5 billion on maintenance upgrades and expansion of the system, of which NEC alone receives $100 million, including $90 million for the NEC Capital Renewal and Engineering Equipment Program to replace rail sleepers' technical equipment and enhance safety barrier systems. These efforts build on the significant work done in 2024, which saw the replacement of nearly 75,500 sleepers the rehabilitation of 32 miles of track, the upgrading of more than 170 miles of track, and the repair of more than 35 interlockings. This is a solid foundation for preparing for one of the most important rail infrastructure programs of the century, the Gateway Program. In 2025, the Gateway Program entered the construction phase with many clear changes across the NEC. The centerpiece is the Hudson Tunnel Project, where Amtrak and its partners began construction of a new train tunnel under the Hudson River with a total investment of about $12 billion, work on access shafts in New Jersey and Manhattan, relocation of underground infrastructure and soil reinforcement are being carried out continuously to prepare for the operation of the TBM. At the same time, the $1.56 billion Portal North Bridge Project is also making significant progress reaching about half the workload with a series of bridge piers completed and large steel girders being installed across the Hackensack River. The new permanent bridge will replace the 113-year-old swing bridge that frequently jams and slows trains on the NEC and will allow trains to operate at speeds of up to 90 mapuches, significantly improving operational efficiency on the line. In addition, preparation and initial construction at the Sawtooth Bridges area is also being accelerated. Geological surveys, underground cable relocation, and site preparation are underway to replace two overloaded bridges that are the main cause of train slowdowns in this area. Although still in the foundation stage, the simultaneous implementation of these items confirms that Gateway has entered a period of substantial construction. In addition, the East River Tunnel Renovation and Expansion Project, the tunnel section connecting Penn Station in Manhattan with the rest of the NEC network, is also in the active construction phase. This is a key project because the tunnel has seriously degraded after decades of use greatly affecting operational efficiency. During the construction process, Amtrak had to close one of the two tunnel doors to repair and reinforce the structure repair cracks and waterproof it to improve durability and safety. Due to the importance and high density of trains, construction work must be closely coordinated to ensure that there is no serious disruption to daily transport operations. Thanks to these active activities, when completed, the East River Tunnel will make an important contribution to increasing transport capacity on the NEC, synchronized with the new Hudson River Tunnel, and other improvements thereby improving the passenger experience and increasing operational efficiency of the entire line. In parallel with the tunnel and bridge projects, the expansion and modernization of Penn Station, New York, with a budget of about $10 billion USD, is also progressing. The project focuses on increasing service capacity by 40% expanding the station lobby, improving passenger traffic flow, and upgrading the track and signal system to meet the growing demand on the Northeast Corridor. In addition, billions of dollars are invested in upgrading viaducts guideways, viaducts, and train control systems to ensure smooth and safe operation, ready to welcome the generation of modern high-speed trains to be launched in 2025. So what major projects have these preparations paved the way for to be implemented in 2025? Do you remember those important projects? Let's get started. We need to get to 10,000 subscribers first, and your clicks will help us get there faster. Thank you. Groundbreaking and expansion. In 2025, Amtrak has made significant progress in modernizing key maintenance yards to improve operational capacity and service quality. 
In Ivy City, Washington, D.C., the modern maintenance building project of more than 55,000 Altadiotor FT2 has completed the foundation and main steel frame with five maintenance tracks and four service tracks completely laid with FRA standard 115 RE steel rails accompanied by an energy-saving power supply and LED lighting system. In particular, the project applies automation technology with a non-contact sensor system and autonomous maintenance robots to help detect technical errors on the train cars early. The technical support area is equipped with a smart warehouse system managing components and supplies by barcode helping to minimize waiting time for materials. The project is on schedule aiming for completion in 2030 ready to serve the Amtrak Aero generation with high technical maintenance requirements. At Southampton Yard, Boston two new maintenance tracks use high-grade 136RE steel rails with a 480V power system equipped with an air brake system and automatic rail alignment to minimize vibration and wear during train maintenance. A modern drainage system with underground sewers can quickly regulate rainwater avoiding flooding in technical areas. Maintenance rooms are equipped with non-destructive testing equipment such as ultrasound and magnetic testing to quickly and accurately assess the condition of mechanical parts. The restructuring of the service area aims to optimize material circulation and shorten train turnaround times, contributing to improving operational capacity on the Boston-New York route. In addition, at the Seattle Rail Yard, the upgrade project focused on renovating the continuous welded rail tracks to reduce noise and vibration while improving operational safety. A digital positive train control PTC signaling system was integrated to enhance speed control and ensure traffic safety. The power supply and lighting systems were upgraded with motion sensors and automatic controls saving energy and increasing nighttime work efficiency. At the Philadelphia Rail Yard, the maintenance tracks were upgraded with high-strength steel rail supports combined with specialized anti-corrosion and anti-vibration systems. In addition, the engineering work area was renovated with automatic lifting equipment and safety monitoring systems to protect workers and increase maintenance efficiency. While promoting upgrades, what new services has Amtrak launched that attract attention in 2025? New train and service milestone. At the end of August 2025, Amtrak officially put into commercial operation the high-speed next-gen Acela train on the Northeast route, connecting Washington, New York, and Boston, marking an important milestone in the transformation of technology and services. The next-gen Acela boasts a maximum speed of 160 miles per hour, significantly faster than the previous generation effectively shortening travel times on the busiest rail corridor in the United States. The new fleet features a modern interior with many high-end amenities, including stable Wi-Fi personal power outlets, reading light systems, and more spacious seating arrangements, increasing passenger capacity by approximately 27% compared to the earlier models. Alongside the next-gen Acela launch, Amtrak also introduced the Mardi Gras service in August 2025, a dedicated high-speed route between New Orleans and Baton Rouge. This service quickly gained immense popularity, consistently selling out tickets due to the growing demand for efficient and comfortable rail travel in the region. The Mardi Gras service has revitalized rail connectivity in the Southern Corridor, offering an attractive alternative to driving or flying for many passengers. Additionally, Amtrak has established a dedicated maintenance fund and expanded modern maintenance yards nationwide, ensuring stable operations and allowing for increased service frequency without compromising service quality. What results have those innovations brought in the last months of 2025? Records and strengthening position. In November 2025, Amtrak announced impressive results with 34.5 million passengers in the year, up 5.1% over the previous year, ticket sales reached nearly $2.7 billion. Although still facing the challenge of high operating costs and aging infrastructure investment and innovation efforts have begun to bring clear results, helping to reduce train delays and improve service quality. The year 2025 marks the harvest period after a series of multi-dimensional investments in infrastructure fleet and passenger services. This success lays a solid foundation for Amtrak to enter a new phase of development, becoming the leading modern, efficient, and sustainable rail transport unit in the United States in the next decade. At the same time, the projects also contribute to creating thousands of jobs, promoting the local economy, and strengthening Amtrak's position on the national transportation map. Amtrak's vision and long-term strategy. Looking ahead, Amtrak has a clear vision to become the leading, most modern, efficient, and sustainable rail operator in the United States over the next decade. 
the company's long-term strategy focuses on three main pillars, network expansion technology, innovation, and sustainability. First, Amtrak aims to expand and upgrade high-speed rail lines across the country, not only in the Northeast but also in the Midwest and West, to connect major urban centers and promote regional economic development. This includes building new lines and improving existing lines to increase speed and frequency of operations. In terms of technology, Amtrak aims to widely apply green and smart solutions. This includes using environmentally friendly trains such as electric and hydrogen trains, applying automated operation management systems and artificial intelligence to optimize performance and safety. Interiors and services will also be continuously improved to enhance the passenger experience from online information systems to onboard and station amenities. In particular, sustainability is a central element in all of Amtrak's plans. The company is committed to reducing greenhouse gas emissions using renewable energy sources in operations and building environmentally friendly infrastructure. At the same time, Amtrak actively cooperates with local and federal governments to synchronize green transportation policies towards a modern and efficient multimodal transportation system. In addition, Amtrak also focuses on developing strategic partnerships with technology companies, private investors, and the passenger community to create strong resources to support future projects. The goal is to build a modern, sustainable, and highly competitive transport ecosystem in the context of an increasingly rapidly changing global transport market. The year 2025 has truly been a significant milestone in Amtrak's modernization and development journey, laying the foundation for a safer, faster, and more sustainable rail system in the United States. But with challenges ahead, what do you think Amtrak needs to do next to maintain its momentum and meet the growing expectations of passengers? Share your thoughts. That's all for today. See ya.